I watch Hello Wokanagan from Vernon. David, how do you start this thing? We put it into drive, Peter. Welcome back, Hello Okanaganers. We're here at a go-kart race meet with Southern Interior Karting Association. If you've not subscribed to our channel yet, please make sure you do that. Hit that big button that says subscribe. It really helps us out. Peter, are you excited for this one? Totally am, man. These are the fastest cars in the area. Check out this episode. Super exciting episode today guys, as you can hear from the background noise, we are here at Southern Interior Cart Association's race meet here in Vernon, BC at Caltire Place and we're here with Sean Donald, the president of the association. Thank you so much for joining us, Sean. Yeah, thank you. How are you doing? Good. Good. So tell us a little bit about the, the history of uh, Sika, as we'll uh, call it for short. Um, how long have you guys been operating, for starters? I believe we've been operating for just over 20 years, or 20, 21, 22 years. We've been uh, at this facility since the parking lot was here. We were actually part of the planning for the parking lot with Caltire Place. Uh, so we've been here for 20 years. And, knowing, uh, knowing that you were going to run race yeah, meets here. Yeah. So the racers that we have here today, wh where are they from in BC? Most of them are pretty local. There's uh, a few from Vernon, a few from Kelowna, West Kelowna. We're all and how many of these local. races do you have a year? We try to do six to seven race weekends a year as a normal. So it's a two day race, race Saturday and Sunday. Cool, and, and tell us about the, the, the setup. Like, you know, some viewers might be aware with Formula One, you've got your practice, your qualifiers, and then your race day. How do yeah, you guys so break it up? We set up our tracks on Friday night and then uh, like, set out the tire track on Friday night, then on Saturday morning we finish setting it up. And then we'll do, on Saturdays we practice until noon, and then we'll start our qualifiers, do a first heat race, second heat race, small break, and then do uh, set up for the main, and that's, and then we'll have some practice sessions after racing is done on Saturday. That's usually when we do a, uh, a try a kart session to get new members and stuff like that, it's on, usually on Saturday nights. And then uh, Sundays are close to the same, except for um, we try to get a first heat race in, before lunch, then do a second heat race, uh, main, and then we start to do te track tear down, and then ideally we try to do awards at the end of the day. Cool. And if somebody's interested in watching or participating, where can they get a hold of you? So for the right now, the best way to get a hold of me is on Facebook through our Southern Interior Cardian Association fa uh, we have Facebook page. Well, thank you so much. You bet. Okay, we're here with a race car driver. He's here with four cars, four. His name is Graham. Graham, how are you? How are you doing? Thanks for coming down. <laughs> so tell me about your story. When did you start into go-karting? I started into go-karting at 49. At 49 years old? Yeah, 49. So it's never, never too late, folks, to get started into anything. I raced before. Yeah. Sleds, bikes, yeah. junk. Yeah. I uh, moved on to that, got into karting, looking for more time, seat time and less expense. That was a big thing. Getting into karting, let's have fun. Yeah. So the cars that you have here right now, are they just different cars that you're gonna use throughout the day or are these other people's cars you're letting them borrow? No. That's my cart there. Okay. That's for senior four stroke. Yeah. That's Robin's cart. Yeah. That's my significant other. Yeah. Senior four stroke. And that's shifter. Oh, okay. That's the one that's all the fun. The shift, so the shifters are the faster cars? So tell us about the age group in this type of a competition. Well, there's Baby Kart, which runs uh, seven, six, seven in that age group. That, they are single by themselves on the track, yeah. going around during sessions. Then you've got seven and eight, yeah. which is junior. Then there's 
uh, 8 to 14, I think it is, before they move into senior. Okay, we're here since senior. Okay. And that, of course, full size carts. Now, there's different size carts as well. You've got cadet carts, which are a little size smaller than these. Mm -hmm. Then they move up in size from here. Um, so, Graham, what are some of the top speeds that you guys are hitting on these tracks? I know I've been clocked over 100 miles an hour on our old track. 100 miles an hour? Yeah. Not kilometers, yeah. miles. Yeah, right here. Wow, it's amazing. And then, uh, so one thing you will notice, or I will notice at least, and maybe the Hello Okanagan OGs that watched our episode at Carplex, these are quite a bit different than the uh, than the carts at Carplex. Um, you know, those are still faster than your regular, but they're you know they're governed. They're at a specific weight. These ones look like they have way less materials on them. What would one of these weigh? Weight class is dependent on driver and cart. Yep. Okay, we're three forty-five. That is myself and the cart. Okay. Wow. That puts us in light class. Then we've got heavy class for the bigger fellas. Uh, shifter is 405. Okay, when you say bigger fellas, are we meaning taller? Industrials. Industrials. No, Peter, if you have to ask that question, he's talking about you. How is he talking about me? Age or, or height? I don't Both. know. A anytime you want to come and play. I will. I'm game. We were... We had fun. We've done a we've done a couple of weekends together with uh, some uh, cart racing, but everything from like your little amusement park types to the really fast ones. And I'd never seen anything like this. Me personally, when I walked in and I saw some of these carts, I thought you guys were going so fast that you crashed and you're missing pieces. But now hearing what you said, it's actually more. It's because you want to make the vehicle lighter. So what age what age group are you in? Nine ten. Nine ten. Wow. And how long have you been doing this? Seven years. Seven years? Before you can walk, you literally seven, got behind. Seven years old. Seven years old. Whoa! Oh, since seven, oh, years, since old. seven years old. Oh, okay. Okay, that's awesome, brother. That's ten. awesome. So Emily? you like going fast, right? Ten. You're, You're ten, ten now. So three years. Three years. Damn, cool. That's impressive. Well, what about yourself? When did you get started? Uh, I started driving carts when I was five. Five, five, yeah. And how old are you now? I'm twelve. You're twelve? Yeah. Wow. And why did you get into this? Oh, my dad got into it for me, and then one day I was just like, well, I'm staying at the cart track, so. That's awesome. I tried a cart that day, and then. That's awesome, that's yeah. awesome. And do you have any, do you have any goals? Is this just a hobby for you? Do you want to take it further? Well, I've been racing for a while, so it's mostly just a hobby, it's but. It's all about trophies. Yeah, yeah, I do like winning, yes. Podiums, podiums, Peter. Podiums. Learn, the, yeah. learn the lingo, yeah. learn the lingo. You guys got podiums? Is there podiums yeah, there's, there's one in the trailers. Sweet. Congratulations and good luck today. Same to you. Thank you. See you later. I wonder if they'll notice that I stole a car. Hey everyone, thanks for watching, but right now it's time for a Hello Okanagan update with our very own Elizabeth Flowers. Hello Okanagan, I'm Elizabeth Flowers and here's your Okanagan update. The pumpkin patch at Davidson Orchards is ripe and ready to go. Take a Johnny Popper tour to the pumpkin patch and find your perfect pumpkin for this fall season. Pumpkins come in an endless variety of shape, sizes, colors and weight. There's so many to choose from. Consider making this a new fall tradition and creating lasting memories with you and your children. The UPIC pumpkin tours run on the weekends in October. There's a community garage sale taking place this Sunday in Lake Country. Stop on by the Winfield Memorial Hall on Sunday, October 3rd from 8.30 to 3.30. 24 different families will be participating, selling lots of great things. Skis, sporting equipment, clothing, household items, things you don't want to miss. And the Cultural District walking tours have kicked off in Kelowna. Tours will follow a historic route of approximately two kilometers and highlight the past and present events of what is now Kelowna's Cultural District. Delve into the history with stories of scandal, progress, transformation. Visit public art, parks, cultural facilities, and so much more. Registration takes place at the beginning of the tour and you'll meet in front of the Kelowna Visitor Center. This event is free and hosted by the City of Kelowna. That's all for this week's Okanagan Update and now we'll go back to the episode. Hey guys, thanks for supporting us. Make sure you get our merch. We got koozies, t-shirts, hoodies, coffee mugs, and a ton of other stuff. Click the link below.
got Dana from the Interior Cart Center right now. Dana, thanks for being here with us. You're welcome. Hopefully we didn't scare you too much. No, not yet. <laughs> Wait you guys get out there in the carts then. So let me know, what's Interior Cart Center? Yeah. It's a shop. I have everything from helmets, suits, parts, carts, engines, everything. Do the whole thing. So if you're a beginner or if you're a you professional, whatever it is. I'll try to set you up correctly. Perfect. Instead of buying off the internet and not knowing what you're buying, I'll tell you what to buy. You don't have to buy off me, but I'll tell me what you found. I'll tell you if that's where you, right for the club. Where are you based out of? Kelowna. Kelowna. And you're mobile, I see, as well. Yes. And you supply a lot of the uh, a lot, lot of, of the carts drivers. and what we see here. Yes. Obviously, what I love about karting is like it's it's fun for for all ages and all set up. It, and go karting was developed for fun. A couple of guys, Art Ingalls and these guys, started a little go karts with lawnmower engines and no safety there. There was yeah. just an axle with the pedals right there. There's no bumpers, no nothing. Yeah. And they were having fun. And look where it's gone to, you know. Awesome. And the elite end of karting is great, but not everybody can afford that or have the ability to travel and have the equipment and everything and, and afford it. Well, it looks like uh, looks like the race is a, racers have break for lunch, so maybe it's time for us to uh, see if we can rip up the Somebody's track. Somebody's calling, yep. <laughs> Perfect. You bet, and then you guys get out there and we'll see what we can do. Awesome, awesome. Thank, thank you, you Dana. You bet. David's been waiting for this episode for a long time. This guy's been practicing down in Cartplex and other places. We can't get him off the track. He's already gone like 10 times. Make sure you guys follow us on Instagram and TikTok and like us on Facebook. And make sure you guys like this latest episode and subscribe to YouTube.